everybody and welcome back it's your boy worst Epic gamer and today we have another awakening for you guys today so drop a like if you're excited for mog because he's about to be awakened guys and also not only that i'm about to promote this guy checking out 352 soul stones because of the double purchase event that just is going on right now so it's a good day man it's a great day right now so let's go ahead guys let's promote first thing we're gonna do is promote this guy and then we are going to finish him off and by that, I mean awaken him. So let's go ahead, promote again. Oh man, this is good. This is good. So four stars here. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Five stars actually. What? Woo! -hoo. Raised. Woo! -hoo. Five star Mog. Wowzers, Bowsers. That is pretty dope. Whoa! All right. So I have not fully enchanted his items, guys, because I use that as something to just to do my dailies because i have nobody else i can enchant for now but anyways so i've already gotten part one already complete as you can see enchanted so we're going to move on to part number two now so let's go right ahead all right part number two title temple and it feels like every single hero needs to do the title temple i don't know why it feels like that it just feels like that for me guys so let's just go ahead right away title temple is open today nightmare sweepy dp go Boom, there we blow. All right, so that's done. Now, let's go ahead back here. Head back, yes. Let's accept quest number two, complete. And then we are number three without him or anybody else getting killed. This is, all right, this is too easy, man. This is too easy. So let's go ahead and just put some pretty cool heroes here. Let's go Nightshade, because I really think she's gonna kill it. Garik as well. You know what? Let's put Vespix. And uh, why not? Haruk! Haruk! Haruk is on fire! Let's do this. Oh, man. Did I just screw up? That's a good start. What is a good start, bro? You haven't even started yet. What are you talking about? And I was just about to say, I hope... Oh, he's physically immune. And that's exactly what I didn't want to see. A physical immune hero. Because most of my heroes are magic. But... Thank the heavens, Mog is actually a physical, I mean, a magic attacker, guys, so it'll be all right. Come on, Mog! I need an ultimate from him to finish this guy off right here. Bah! There we go. Wow. Didn't even need an ultimate here. His spikes did the work. So, and this one is immune to magic, so this is going to be easy. They are sitting ducks. Uh, yeah. You think? You think? All right, this is going to be very, very easy here. I don't even have to use any ultimates. Let's just save the ultimates for the end. Boom! Wow. I actually did a lot of damage to Garik there. Surprisingly, since he's all the way maxed the hell out. Alright. Now we're gonna spam. Come and try me now. Let's just spam all ultimates here, guys. Spammy, spammy. And then we're gonna use Mog Ultimate! Boom! 32,000. Wow. Victory is mine! Yes. There we go, guys. Ooh. Ooh, I'm pretty excited guys. I'm pretty freaking excited to see this guy in action here. Awakened, I, I mean. So let's go ahead. Hold on to your chairs, your bed, your wife. Hold on to somebody, guys, because this is happening right now. Mog is about to transform. Haha! <laughs> what? Yo! This guy looks pretty sick. Look how happy he is. He's all jolly, all happy to turning people into dogs with his shield and his That's like a goat helmet there. But, wow, Barbarian Warlock, I uh, love this card here. Hey, that's uh, pretty cool, actually, guys. Hang on, this is actually really sick. I love that a lot. Huh. Me like it, me like it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go and see what this ability is actually going to do. So, ruins are open now. Can't really equip any ruins for him right now. But, the Dark Sorcery, huh? All right. So, Mog's transformability turns enemies into a demon, demonic ducks. Alright, demonic ducks. Lowering their magic armor, we already know this. At the same time, Mog absorbs some of their energy. So, absorbs 260 energy from uh, enemy, reduces target's magic armor by 130. Alright, so let's go ahead. Max this out. Let's refresh. I'm going to just spend some gems here for you guys. I'm going to max it out here. Alright, maxed out. So spend some gems for you boys out there. So just to max this guy out. Absorbs 416 energy. And then reduces 208 more. So I'm kind of... Hmm, let me see here. So I'm trying to just to see here which one... 
All right, so this one increases magic crit rating. So his magic crit rating is going to increase and this one is going to reduce magic armor. Can you just imagine what a crit is going to look like when this guy actually uses it on somebody? Oh my God, that's insane. So you know what guys, let's go right ahead and let's go to the next part. All right, but first things first, we're gonna forge this guy, all right? Let's use the free auto forge and give him a little bit of a boost here. 50 times of the basic. Start your engines, go! So yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool here. A little bit of a boost, and I'm gonna try this guy out in the arena for you guys, all right? Five stars now, so he definitely should be able to withstand a couple of attacks, because before he was way too weak at two stars, he was dying too fast. So we don't want that. If he can, if he can, if his survivability is even increased by a little bit, this is gonna be really sick, guys. This is gonna be awesome. And he can actually be really viable in the arena with his abilities, because his abilities are pretty cool. So let's go ahead, let's try him out here. But not so fast, we forgot the Heroic Academy, huh? So let's go ahead and do the Heroic Academy here, guys. So let me just do this really quickly here. All right, so increase physical armor, increase magic armor. I'm going to go with physical for this guy. I'm just so worried with Valko, Tanya, pretty much all the heroes that jump the gun and jump to the other side, they're gonna do a lot of damage here. Reduce spell recovery time and increase healing. You know what? I'm just gonna reduce spell recovery time here. Why not? Let's go ahead. Increase hit recovery, increase dodge. Hmm. Let's go with increase, actually, let's go with, let's go with hit recovery. All right, come on, let's do this. Hit recovery there, increase energy efficiency, increase energy bonus. I'm gonna go with efficiency here. Let's go, so it looks like his ultimate might be able to produce a lot faster. And that would be a good thing. And then here, as always, I'm just gonna go with the ability, all abilities, plus five. That's actually really nice. There we go. Next part, increase magic resistance, physical resistance. We're gonna double stack that. Since I did physical on the other one, we're gonna do physical here as well. Health, max health, let's just increase max health. This way he's got more health just to begin the battle with. That should be a good enough there. Next one here, increase kill bonus resistance, increase chance of resisting silence, increase energy recovery. Ha, increase energy recovery, you know what? His ultimate is so important, I think. I'm going to just go with increase energy recovery, guys. Now, I'm not sure if this applies during the battle or this applies only after a wave. So I will do some research on that a little bit later, but I'm gonna try it out now and then we'll see if I can switch it up. If I have to switch it, I will switch it later or during a live stream or something. But for now, I'm just gonna roll with these just to see how he does in the battle. Increase magic crit rating, increase magic, magic crit damage. Wow, so he's already got one ability that increases his magic crit uh, rating, guys. As you already know, his fourth ability increases magic crit rating. If I do this, this increases it even further. Wow, but I could do magic crit damage, so whenever he gets it, because he's already getting an increase in magic crit, this one will increase the damage that he gets. He already lowers your opponent's magic armor. Ah, you know what? No, I'm gonna go further increase his magic crit rating, because he's gonna lower the armor already enough, and then if, I just need him to get more crits. So the difference between the two is the bottom one will get you more of a chance to get crit. The top one is going to increase the damage that your crits do. And I think as long as he gets a crit, it'll be good enough. So there we go. And that is how you do it, boys. He's all set on both sides here. So there we go. Now let's go ahead to the next part. Go! All right, guys. Tough battle here versus the twin banana here. You guys already know how strong he is. So if... If Mog can do something in this battle, it's a big success, man. This is the true test here. There we go. Uh, stunning a little bit there. That's pretty good. And he's still alive. All right, that's Rayman doing some work. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yes, he turned. Did he turn? Oh, he's dead. Son of a god! Magnus just killed a man. And I was just looking. Did he turn anybody into a duck? But I didn't see him turn anybody into a duck there, which is bad news. Damn it, Mog! 
That was not a good showing there, guys. Not good at all. And this is gonna cause my death here, I think. Because, yep, I think his Petros is... Yeah, his Petros is still alive. Mine is nearly dead. Magnus is dead. And Rayman is the only one left. And he's got Orkan, I think, as well. So we are screwed for sure. Ah. Mm. So that was a bad showing there. Don't know if he's still viable in the arena just yet. Might still have to go to 7 stars. That could be still the problem, but... I don't know why he didn't turn anybody into the... Yo, that's hilarious! <laughs> ah, death becomes me. So didn't do enough damage, that's for sure. Didn't even get an ultimate off. Hmm. Not cool. All right, guys, try number two. I want to try this one more time here. I kind of substituted Volko for Garic. Hopefully, that will hasten up a little bit, you know, him. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's just keep praying for the best and hoping he doesn't get slaughtered here because it looks like he's about to die right now. Defenses are still really weak. That's still his flaw. Oh, we got an ultimate off. And uh, who the hell did he attack? Yo, he just took out Petros. Whoa, yes. That was awesome! Alright guys, that worked! He took out Petros, another ultimate here! I don't know who he got there, but he got somebody. And uh, everybody's still alive here, so this one is looking a lot better here, guys. Much better, I think. Alright, there we go, look, he turned somebody into a duck, but that's my own Magnus! Son of a gun! Orkan, yeah, Orkan puts in that work, man. Oh, ultimate. God damn it! Yo, yeah! Woo! Mog is putting in that work! Yo, what? I told you guys. Arena viable for sure. Just gotta find the right lineup, man. That's all you gotta do. Find the right lineup, and this guy will do it for you. Look at all the damage. Crazy ultimate that does a lot of damage. His spikes do damage, and then he turns somebody into a duck. That ultimate literally took out Petros in one shot, guys. That's insane. Holy moly, that was beautiful. Wow, and that gets us the number one spot in the arena, man. Literally right before the, uh, the, the freaking rewards here. That's pretty sick. So I'm going to kind of take out Carl, and I'm going to put him in there, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's put him in there. And there you have it, guys. This will complete the awakening for our boy Mog here. I think he's actually pretty sick. Definitely viable in the arena. Still, I think... Needs a little bit more, you know what I mean, for star level to become really, really good. But he's definitely usable, all right? He's not a chump like everybody says he is, all right? Not a complete chump. He's a little bit better than you think, all right? Anyways, I'm going to end it off here, guys. I hope you uh, enjoy that. I hope you appreciate that. I love you guys. I'll see you next time in another Soul Hunters Awakening. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out.